What makes the Rep unique in the national field of nonprofit theaters is our commitment both to this community, to really deep roots in Kansas City, and also to a vision of what the theater can mean in a national context. So we both dig really deep and we spread our wings very far. The Creative Future Fund is really built to make us a stronger, better company for future generations of Kansas Cityans. And we do that by increasing our audience, by building loyalty with those people who already come, and by encouraging the next generation of theater goers. It's important that we continue to see stories like this so that everyone knows, um, so that we can have views into other people's lives and so that we can understand how other people live. The REP was founded 53 years ago as part of UMKC, so education has been at the heart of our mission for our entire existence. How we interpret that mission now is growing. We're reaching thousands and thousands of more students every year. Just being able to be there and actually experience like the emotions or like them like actually acting, it just makes it better besides watching the TV and not being able to connect as much. Students from every race, geographic background, economic background, all sitting together here, hearing the same story at the same time, is I think the most profound way the theater can create a vision of a more democratic or more just future for our young people. I feel that theater is important for minority groups dealing with the fact that they're trying to express the problems that have built up over so many years, and there's so much emotion, so you can really connect with that, and I just love that about it. I'm always in awe of the fact that this is my job, to make things up, and then people put them on stage. I also love collaboration and working with smart people, uh, and that's been the recipe here at KC Rep. When I came here, the rep was a place that imported its creativity. Since that time, we've become an exporter of our best ideas. Our plays start here and go, to, go on to Broadway, they go off Broadway, they go up and down the East and West Coast. They're seen by literally hundreds of thousands of people each year, work that originated right here in Kansas City. And that's why we call the program Origin KC. I think it's exciting for them to meet somebody who's alive, who's written a play that they've just seen. It really brings the vitality and the vibrancy of theater back, which is how it started. Lots of people talk about having this kind of radical support of playwrights and new plays, but Kansas City Rep is really coming through in brand new ways that I have not seen done anywhere else in the theater community. I can't imagine seeing it in many other theaters, particularly like a regional house like this. It's an important part of the American fabric, I think. It just makes you feel like you're welcome. You know, it, it's just, and it helps the community. I think excellence begets excellence. Kansas City is in the middle of an incredible renaissance, and it's been really thrilling over the last decade to see this town change from what felt more insular and more closed to more national, even international in scope. The play made me feel really empowered. It, like, it just, it makes me want to go out and do something and have a dream. I have been coming to the Kansas City Repertoire Theater since 1996 and will continue for the rest of my life. I have this belief, and I've had it for some time, that Kansas City is on the precipice of becoming a top 10 American city. We have the right talent here at the Rep. We just need that next fundraising step to start to be able to produce the right educational program and the new works created right here and uh, I think we can be everything this town deserves.